How's it going guys? My name is Troy and today I'm going to be showing you how to flush out your radiator. Now, there's lots of different ways you can do this, but I'm going to show you how to do it using vinegar. Step by step. So what I want to do is I want to isolate this radiator and put the fluid just in the radiator because I don't want all that junk circulating through the engine once all the debris loosens up. Okay, after I fully drain the radiator, I'm going to take two plastic bags and a zip tie and just put it over that hose so the vinegar doesn't come out the bottom. I'm going to come to the top, put a funnel on it, and pour the vinegar all the way in until it almost overflows. Alright, so I let the vinegar sit in the radiator for four hours. Now I'm going to drain it out. While I was waiting, I noticed some stress cracks in the top of the radiator. In the plastic, it wasn't broken yet, but you could tell it was stressed, so I just put a couple layers of foil tape on top of it just to reinforce it so it doesn't actually bust open. But uh, let's drain the petcock and see what kind of gunk comes out of the radiator. So the ball on the right is the vinegar that came out of the radiator after sitting in for four hours. And the ball on the left is the vinegar that hasn't been used yet. So there's a slight difference in color. Uh, one's a little more yellow, I guess, from the deposits and stuff. But I don't see any chunks or anything in there. So it looks like my radiator was pretty clean. But what I'm going to do is I'm still going to put a hose in the top part of the radiator and leave the bottom end open and just flush water through it for about 10 minutes straight to get any junk or loose deposits the vinegar may have loosened up. And uh, that way everything will be cleaned out in the end and I won't have to worry about the vinegar continuing to eat away at the radiator slowly. Alright, so I got the hose right through the top where it connects into the radiator. I got the bottom hose aimed at the ground. And it's just spewing all that crap out of there. So, basically it's environmentally safe because it was vinegar. All the cool and everything had been removed. So, I'm just going to leave this on for a couple minutes just to get all the junk out of there. All right, so I ran the hose through for about 10 minutes, got everything clean out of the radiator. Now I'm going to hook the two hoses back up into the system, fill it about halfway up with water, and fill the difference with distilled vinegar back in. I'm going to run the car for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once it's hot, I'm going to drain it, put some more water back in, and then I'm going to use the Prestone Super Flush to neutralize everything. Do it one more time with water, and then I'm going to put the coolant back in, and we're going to call it a day. All right, well, that about wraps it up. I uh, did a couple flushes, and right after I put the vinegar in there, it uh, got a whole bunch of nasty crap out of there, so it worked. Uh, the vinegar flush works. It's a pain in the butt to do, but uh keeps the car clean. All right, take it easy.